We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. William Shakespeare, The Tempest. This interview that I, Dr. Jamison Neruda, conducted with Sarah exposes a fundamental deception that affects humanity across every dimension of life. This deception is that our three-dimensional reality and human consciousness have been programmed to be perceived as real, when they are not. This is clearly a very bold assertion, and is not made lightly. In this interview, I explain the forces behind this deception, what their agenda is, how humanity has been enslaved from its inception to today, and what we can do about it. It is, understandably, an unsettling narrative. After all, it exposes a reality where humans are biological hosts of infinite beings, suppressed by deceptive programs designed by entities from a different dimension. Humanity is unaware that we live in a designed reality, and that that designed reality includes everything. Over the past 15 years, there have been individuals who have written and spoken about certain aspects of this deception. From the scientific community, individuals like Herman Verland, Dr. Robert Lanza, Leonard Susskind, Gerard Zehuft and James Gates. From the technical field, NASA engineer Thomas Campbell. From a more philosophical perspective, authors like Nick Bostrom and Anthony Peake. Scientific papers, too, have been released in this emerging field of reality definition like, constraints on the universe is a numerical simulation by Bean, Davuti and Savage. These individuals, and others like them, are hypothesizing that our universe was designed through mathematics or computer code. This topic is relatively off-limits, reserved for theoretical and heretical thinkers. It shocks people significantly more than the discussions of UFOs or government conspiracies, because it is so fundamental. It is our reality, and the only logical conclusion we can draw is that we are prisoners in a deceptive reality. It makes reality feel like a lab, and we are the unsuspecting lab rats. From the spiritual side, many of our mystics and religious founders have reported that both our perception of the universe, and the universe itself, is an illusion. This theme is consistent in religious and spiritual writings throughout the ages. And while the mystics lack the scientific vocabulary to define the scope of this illusion, they nevertheless understood that we, as individuals, walk our lives through an illusory world that scientists are increasingly describing as a programmed reality. The question that rises to the top is, who or what is programming our reality and why? It is to this question that this interview seeks to answer and explain in layperson terms. It is understandable that those with a scientific or religious training will find this disclosure difficult, if not impossible, to believe. I am not trying to convince anyone, I merely present a narrative for how this happened, why it happened, where it is trying to lead humanity, and most importantly, how we can break out of the programming, all of us. This interview is not concentrated on the scientific realm. The science behind the hologram of deception is not based on the mathematics or physics of our space-time. Its complexity and sophistication is well beyond our current understanding, so the attempt to define it in scientific terms would be an impossible undertaking. Even if it were possible, it would only muddle the real import of this information in arcane vocabulary and mathematics. The true focus of this interview isn't the scientific definition of the hologram of deception, but rather how we can free ourselves from its pervasive and illusory presence. The sovereign integral process is defined in this interview in detail, but you may have to listen carefully to it and understand it. This process is truly the centerpiece of this interview. Whatever philosophical perspective you wish to attach to this information, bear in mind that it is shared in the spirit of oneness and equality, and that the sovereign integral process is a decidedly experiential practice. As thought-provoking as the backstory and the chessboard of reality, as depicted herein, may appear, it is the behavioral adjustments that are the real purpose of this disclosure. 
the Wayne Maker's materials are not focused on knowledge or spiritual experiences. They are dedicated to the new behaviors that support the ongoing unfoldment of the sovereign integral process on Earth within the human species. It is this process that you are really experiencing in this interview. Whether you believe in the existence of the hologram of deception or not, the sovereign integral process remains available as a tool to use in your daily life.